Coming up on Cabarrus This Week, a new EMS station comes online in the northwest area of Cabarrus. And apply now, local grants help Cabarrus agencies bounce back from the financial impact of COVID-19. And mark your calendar, the Cabarrus County Fair returns this September. That's all right now on Cabarrus This Week. Welcome to Cabarrus This Week. I'm Kasha Thompson. I'm standing outside Cabarrus County EMS Station 10, co-located with Concord Fire Station 10 at 9880 Poplar Tent Road. In the last 10 years, the county and our local municipalities have worked to co-locate emergency services. In addition to cost savings, co-located facilities increase camaraderie between emergency responders and provide a visual unified front for the community. EMS Chief Jimmy Lentz shares more about the station and the benefits it offers residents. We were very fortunate several years ago when Concord City started talking about the expansion of their Station 10 uh, to include an ambulance in this geographical location of the county. This is a great location in the western side of the county that is the most densely populated and the fastest growing area. So to put an ambulance in this amazing facility just made sense for many reasons. We have found many years ago that it was much more efficient and a much better utilization of tax funding to coexist with fire departments. Fire departments are studied and placed in very strategic geographical locations to meet the needs of the citizens. To put a paramedic on an emergent medical scene, seconds count, which is our motto. This truck was put in service on July 1st. With the two weeks of being operational at this location, we are already seeing a significant impact to county response times. The county is strategically planning with performance-based measures. In every department of the county, EMS is no different. So the addition of EMS 101 at this location played perfectly into the strategic planning that happens every day in county operation. So getting the truck out here to be on scene quicker in this area of the county will have significant medical and significant impact on the outcome of these patients. Thanks, Chief Lentz. The added truck at Station 10 means 13 advanced life support units cover Cabarrus during the day and 11 at night with emergency call response times of less than eight minutes. Thanks EMS for your service to our community. Cabarrus County is dedicating a portion of more than $42 million received in American Rescue Plan coronavirus funds to help local agencies based in or serving Cabarrus County. In this next video, we share what you need to know about the Cabarrus Recovery Grants application process. The world changed in an instant, but you found ways to keep Cabarrus open. Now it's time to get back some control, some certainty. No one knows your struggle better than you, and no one knows better than you how to get your business and our community back on track. We're asking local faith leaders, nonprofit managers, and business owners to apply now for Cabarrus Recovery Grants. The county is offering businesses and organizations one-time funding to help our community bounce back. Submit your Cabarrus Recovery Grant proposal to stabilize your business or organization, provide job training, continue with delayed initiatives, assist households with food and shelter, deliver crisis intervention services, support mental and physical health, make improvements to help prevent and eliminate COVID-19, and much, much more. The plan for our economic and health recovery starts here, with you. Submit your proposal to Cabarrus County Government by August 6th at 5 p.m. The deadline to apply for Cabarrus Recovery Grants is August 6th at 5 p.m. To learn more, visit cabarruscounty.us slash CRG. County phone lines are ringing off the hook with folks wanting to know the status of the 2021 Cabarrus County Fair. There's good news to share. The fair is on, taking place September 10th through 18th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Let's take a moment to appreciate the value of our local agricultural celebration and the good times that will come in just a few weeks. For 69 years, the Cabarrus County Fair has been bringing laughter, thrills, adventure, and lifelong memories to you, our community. Rain or shine, come find joy in all your fair favorites. This year, more than ever, it'll be a fair to remember. Come experience amazing food, thrilling rides, exciting games, adorable animals, unique crafts, and much, much more. We'll be here for you, and we'll start making those memories again, together. 
the Cabarrus County Fair, September 10th through the 18th. For fair info, visit CabarrusCountyFair.com. This year's fair comes with added precautions, including a few changes to the layout and increased sanitation measures. But don't worry, the popular Racing Pigs Butterfly Exhibition and live entertainment will be there September 10th through 18th. Learn more about gate specials and other tips to help you plan your trip at CabarrusCountyFair.com. That's our show for this week. Check out more stories and updates by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County or subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Visit CabarrusCounty.us and type newsletter in the search bar. And remember, you can watch all our other programming on demand at youtube.com slash Cabarrus County. Make sure to like and subscribe to get all of our updates. Thanks for watching Cabarrus this week. Take care. Thank you.